Hello, today we're talking about ligament injuries of the foot and ankle, the most common ones. And let's start with the syndesmotic ligament, which is, people call that a high ankle sprain. There's actually a sprain or a tearing of the ligament between the distal tibia, the big bone of the ankle, and the fibula, the smaller bone of the ankle, that's higher up than the typical ankle sprain. So if you ever hear somebody having a high ankle sprain, that's a syndesmotic ligament sprain. And how do you treat those? Usually they don't need surgery. Some athletes do to try to get back to um, athletics quicker, but usually we can treat these over time with just some therapy. Uh, down just below that is the most commonly injured ligament in the ankle is more the anterior talofib ligament, but we generally just call it a lateral ankle sprain. It's a very common injury. Sometimes you end up with a loose ankle because of that. And sometimes it needs surgery. We start with conservative treatment of bracing and therapy and if that doesn't work, then we have to stabilize that surgically. Next is the lateral foot sprain. It's a common injury. The good thing is we don't have to treat it surgically very often. We usually just treat that with just the occasional uh, bracing and anti-inflammatories and therapy. Next is the Lisfranc ligament, and that's Napoleon's doctor. So a lot of his cavalry noticed that uh, Lisfranc was in Napoleon's position, and he noticed a lot of the cavalry had midfoot injury, so he was the first one to report that. But it's more a tearing of the midfoot ligament, which holds your base of your metatarsals together. And it, it's a critical ligament enough to where if you injure that, we need to do surgery for that. So think of the Lisfranc ligament as much like the anterior cruciate ligament, which people have heard about of the knee. We call the Lisfranc ligament as much like that in the midfoot and almost always needs surgery for that. 